Hi, I'm Brian at Video Excellence Productions. So how professional should your video look? I guess if you're starting out in business and you want to go down to the uh, internet, then you will be very, very tempted to try and film this yourself, either sitting in front of the computer terminal uh, with one of those little view cams and using a little built-in mic. Um, in most cases, that's not going to come out the way you think uh, you'd like to see it because it probably won't be lit well. You're going to have a lot of shadows under your eyes. It's going to be a lot of echo in the in the audio. You may not be able to totally understand um, what it is that you're trying to say. And of course, uh, it's all about image. When your viewing audience is watching you, okay, and no matter what you are saying, that image that you're projecting on the screen is very, very important. That's your credibility and whether or not what it is that you're saying is believable. You may have the best product or service available, but if it doesn't look good, then people are going to, you're going to lose a lot of, of uh, credibility with that, with your viewing audience. Uh, so things to be considering, especially if you're going to be doing your own, is definitely the lighting and also the sound. In most cases, you're going to have to have the sound basically tied to a lapel mic, not something that's sitting on the screen on your computer. From a corporate viewpoint, again, it's always image. That's very, very important. Um, filming your own seminar, okay, with your own camera. Typically, they don't use proper lighting, at least that I've seen. They don't tie into the sound source, so the sound comes back very muffled, a lot of echo from the room, okay. And again, if it's just archival purposes, you just want to have a general idea of what was said, what was there on the specific day of then that may be sufficient but most often a lot of companies want to use that for their clients or for people that didn't attend the seminar during the day and want to be able to send them a copy and of course the image is terrible okay that it doesn't live up to your corporate name so considerations of how professional should your video look is going to be very contingent upon what image you're going to try and get across and how legible um, the messages that you want your audience to hear. Hi, if you enjoyed that video, we've got 10 excellent topics on our website at www.videoexcellence.com. Sign up and we'll be glad to send them to you.